Hey, hey, Yeniverse and mining family. Grab your shovels and your pickaxes. Welcome to the show. I'm Nemesis, and of course, I'm not your babysitter. Do your own research, but let's dig in. Yo, what's happening, everybody in the crypto land? What's going on? What's going on? See who we all got here. Not sure. Oh, we got my man Crypto Mikel. Yo, what's happening? Glad to see that you showed up. Uh, I'm not sure what you got going on. Oh, Mr. Harry Lasagna. Oh, using me as a podcast. Love it, love it, love it. So, uh, today was just kind of uh, got a new package in the mail. Yo, got some mail time. Totally legit. Guess what? It's from Digital Gold. Yo, I finally got my my package. <laughs> I thought you'd like that, Crypto Mikel. Yo, <laughs> yeah, nerd. Mail time. Yo, and, and I even have the button for it too. Now, where did it go? Where did it go? And <laughs> totally legit. <laughs> Uh, so, yes, we have some really cool stuff going on here. Woo! So, awesome, awesome, awesome. This is going to be a kind of a cool little show that I've got going on. Um, I know not a lot of people are here quite yet, uh, but I am kind of doing a Friday thing. I know a lot of people are at work. I expect uh, more people to kind of watch a little bit later on, which is cool. Um, <clears throat> So, without any other further ado, uh, let's kind of uh, dive in to today. Yo! So, hey, guess what? It's a bunch of stuff I don't care about. You want to know why I don't care about this stuff? Because I don't plan on buying anything quite yet. So many people get wrapped up into where the price action goes. For me as a miner, I love these dips, dude. People who want to buy something or want to get rich, they want to, they're looking at this, pulling their hair out, going, I lost everything. Me? I'm gaining everything. My profits, well, my, my rewards are through the roof. I love these down markets. Some people just look at it the wrong way, you know? Smash that like button for some rewards, man. That's what these down markets are great for. You build your mine and you just keep on mining away and you get more rewards. And when the market comes back up, Yo, you will be the winner. Trust me. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> and then kind of a little recap on this. Now, you might see see me doing so, looking at some of these charts going, well, why why do you care? What what does this mean? But yo. I started buying Bitcoin right back here, dude. So guess what? This is my one year anniversary for buying crypto, dude. I've been DCAing for one year, guys. Yo! And you know what that means? I get a gold sticker for that. Gold star. <laughs> so I have been DCAing with this market dip, sticking in through it. Do you think that I'm here for these Lambo parties? I don't think so. I mean, it'd be nice to have one, uh, but I'm more or less looking at that. I'm securing my monetary value in a way that fiat can't steal it from me. Yo. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. And um, if you guys haven't ever heard about it, um, if, uh, for some of those people who are brand new to this, yo. We got some of that yiggity yen. Yen.io, guys, if you haven't checked it out, you should. if you're not on there, you should definitely sign up for it. It is got that you know Twitter feel to it, uh, good social exchange, uh, meta exchange. Yo! And they are, the people that are working on this, the people behind the scenes, they are grinding on this stuff, guys. And yo, today's that Friday. I need to do some of that DCAing, that stuff that I talk about. So they just added a few new features, so now I can sit there and look at the market. These are tools, tools given to you for free. Yo, I mean, I didn't have to pay for it. They just showed up one day, and it's there. 
love it. <laughs> and I hope my sound is, and everything is okay, guys. Uh, let me know if my sound is like wonky or video is wonky. It looks like it should be as excellent on my end. <laughs> What's really strange, Crypto Mikkel? I know there's like a, a few second delay on this. <clears throat> uh, but, let's see here. Uh, but this has got some really good features. I mean, this is not for uh, some of the people that will be watching. They're already on Yigit again. So like my man, uh, Crypto Mikkel here. Yo, <laughs> my man. <laughs> Um, let's see here. I got my camera like directly in front of me, so it's like I gotta like look around it. So sorry guys. One of these days I'll get some better camera stuff. I need to get a little bit of a lower um, camera holder. This way it's just a pinch lower and I can see stuff a little bit better. But here I can go on to that Yigit again and they've got Coinbase, but yo, check this out. Oh, you don't hear my stream deck? Really? Huh. Let me fix that. That's got to be... Uh, let's see here. I wonder if... Ah, uh, this is it. There we go. Thank you, Crypto Mikkel. You get a gold sticker for that one. <laughs> I didn't realize it wasn't doing anything because like I've got th so many different things set up oh it gets wonky sometimes trying to figure it out <laughs> yay <laughs> so um, they've got uh, coinbase up on here and now they've got Binance on here <laughs> so now you can actually buy on Binance now. Yo! Uh, so <clears throat> you'll have to have a little bit on Coinbase um, if you're using Coinbase, you know. This way you can onboard it on there. But if you go on there like on your phone or something like that and you decide to buy on there or you decide to go on your computer independently, you got them linked together, people will be able to see that you just placed a buy order on Binance, dude. That is huge. Huge. So, being Friday, uh, I always DCA a little bit into it. Uh, let's see here. Let's put in... Yeah. Bam. And then I want to buy some. Bam. And then let's say I confirm some of that. Yo! course it's going to be a little slow because I'm streaming <laughs> and it's like would you like to start another buy and it's like you know yeah let's try some of that you know what I want to try some of that finance and we'll do my pairing with uh, some of that uh, busy day Bitcoin and what will I buy hmm what should I buy hmm Let's see here. You know what I want to buy on Binance? Let's see if it will. Let's see here. If I can find it really quickly. Because it did not let me just type it in for some reason. Ah! Why won't it let me just type it in? Oh well, I gotta find it then. Let's see, where is it? Huh, I don't see, I see, oh there we go. I'll buy some of that icon, yo, icon, legit. So I'm gonna buy some of me that, some of that like icon here and um, you'll have to put it into uh, 
Satoshi value, um, which I have to kind of figure out the the exchange on that, but I think you the minimum that you can put in is 0 0.01, um, which I gotta I gotta play around with this a little bit more. I think um, just because I've well I've gone, one I've got the camera right in front of me, so I really can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> I gotta get a different mount, <laughs> but. It's like, yeah, I gotta figure out how much I actually wanna buy, um, what it equates to. Um, I could certainly do it on, off of my phone and it'll display it right on there. It'll be a little bit easier. Um, I'll have to make a small suggestion uh, later on. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this just because I gotta figure out how much I wanna buy <laughs> and figure out what it like all equates to. Um, but, <clears throat> I'll do that once I'm off stream, of course, because then I'll be able to, my, my computer will be running a little bit smoother. But, yes, this is, if you guys, this is for like some of the people that haven't been on here before, you know, definitely, you know, it's new. Um, we're the ones that are kind of testing it out, making our suggestions so that when you, the new onboarders, come on board, it'll be that much easier and smoother running for you. So, uh, Oh, I've got somebody at my door. Guys, give me one second here. Of course, somebody's going to show up when I'm live streaming and they don't text me. Ah, good friend of mine from the Park District. Um, who also has talked to me. Oh, dude, check this out. So, the, who just showed up, he's on lunch break right now, so he's gonna sit, because he uh, works not too far away from me, works for the park district. Um, and he's uh, one of the, he's the head, one of like the head director or something like that. I know he's like one of the big hot shots up over there. But what's really cool is that he had talked to me about doing a uh, crypto, or a crypto meetup at the park district to get the knowledge of Bitcoin out to people. So, yo, so I've actually been working on the backside trying to get not no shilly, scammy, tr ICO giveaway crap, but actual Bitcoin knowledge. So, boom. So that that's actually, I mean, it, I, the dude's really cool. He knows a little bit about Bitcoin. He's I've been teaching him a lot myself, so yo. <laughs> ah, yo, Dad Lord, yo. Huh. Good that you're here, yo. So, um, yeah, without any other further ado, I think I want to do, uh, let's see here if it will... Boom. I'm still trying to get the stream deck a little bit better going, but I think I want to do some of this mail time. So, yo. Mail time. Mail time. The mail is here. Oh, Here's the mail. It never fails. It makes me want to wag my tail. When it comes, I want to wail. Yo. <laughs> Mail time. So, I this actually came from. Get ready for it. From Digital Gold. Yo, I have been waiting for this package for a little bit. Not too long. Not too long. Um, I actually had messaged him in the morning, and. Uh, a couple days ago and told him that I what I was interested in and I was like dude I'm going to work he's like just let me know that you want it I'll just send it to you when you get off of work you know he's like send me the money send me the crypto I'm like oh that's legit so I sent him some mined crypto and some DCA crypto Ugh. and these this glue on the box is completely legit it is. I am not opening up for nobody. <laughs> oh yeah. He put the good glue on this stuff. Whew. 
Ah, there we go. Awesome, 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 awesome. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Oh, you guys are, I don't know if you guys can handle this. Can you guys handle like bare circuits? I mean, this is like prawn, man. This is, this is rig prawn, dude. Oh my god, it, it, it smells like, it smells like a, a, a work, the GPU, oh, oh, oh my god, oh, let's see this one, <laughs> he did say his packing skills were unique, oh, oh my god, that is so beautiful, I've got a Zotac GT, 1080 Ti dual fan. Yo! You can smell the hard work in those mines still on this did on this thing. He looks like he cleaned it though. That's pretty cool. Nice. And oh. Oh. What's this here? Uh Looks like he gave me a jumper and a free power button. <laughs> he said he had a lot of those. <laughs> oh, oh, and this is the creme de la creme. Oh, 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 this one. Oh, oh. Dude, the Zotac GT 1080 Ti Amp Extreme, guys, triple fan. Yo, this one is a gaming Goliath and a mining beast. Ooh, talk about a card that has the limitations taken off. Yo, this is the card to get. I keep telling people I get this card. Uh, the only drawback on this particular card, because it's a, such a power hog, is that it takes two 8-pins on there. Only drawback. Other than that, dude, it, it, you know it says power when you just see stuff like this on there, dude. It looks like two badass little chips on there. Oh, oh, damn, oh. Yeah, yeah. Put it next to the 1060. Oh, oh yeah, hold on here. I've got that sitting right next to me. Oh. So, it's actually the same size as the, the Zotac. This 1060 is the same size. Oh. See? Same, same real size, but the Zotac is actually a little thicker. That's actually kind of funny. The Zotac is like a quarter inch thicker, actually. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this. Let's see if I can angle it just right. But it actually like, but they're the same. They're about the same length. And they're the same height and everything. It's like, wow, that's actually, hold on here. Yeah, they're like the same height and everything. Yeah, wow. 1060 and this one are just like, wow, beasts. <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> Mikkel, you're awesome. <laughs> you get a gold star for making me laugh. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, that 1660 Ti is actually a little lighter than this one. The Zotac's got a little bit more beef to her. Yo! And this is the one that I'm gonna put into my computer and I'm gonna game with her and I'm going to mine with her when I'm not gaming. And it should be nice. And uh, it's got a pretty decent sized cooler on this thing. Yeah, I can't wait. Fans spin, looks like they spin pretty freely. That's the first thing you gotta check when, cause like when these things have been mined, 
it's not that uh, so much you got to worry about the the cards themselves uh, having any issues um, it's just that when you turn them on you just got to watch the temperatures you might have to pull it apart to re-thermal paste them um, sometimes you might have to replace a fan or two no big deal I'm not I'm not scared to do so should be pretty cool so do you think I should just drop this into my rig right now and see what she does? Hmm. I really want to see. Hmm. Yes. Let's see here. Did he put anything else into this box? I just kind of like slid it off to the side real quick. Nope, that was it. That's cool. And then the only other thing that he gave me was like um, a little power button because he's got a bazillion of them for free you can buy like a pack of power buttons and dude you get a ton of them <laughs> um and then he gave me a little little jumper this is like a little tester that you could turn a power supply on with pretty cool all right so oh, let me get a drink of water here ah and if you guys have watched it this far and you haven't done so, dude, guys, smash that like button, dude. Come on, smash it. When you smash it, you get a gold star. Yo! <laughs> All right, let me switch to my hive view and, um, let me actually um, <clears throat> let me actually pull my camera and uh, point it up over to the rig. What I'm going to actually end up doing is I'm going to unplug everything off of the the rig, and I'm just going to have the uh, the 1080 uh, the triple fan Zotac on there. We're going to see what this little beast does mining. Ooh, and then later on. Um, I'm going to be probably posting other uh, videos uh, with it actually in my mining rig. I'm going to pit the 1080, uh, the Zotac in my rig and see how she performs in there. Uh, cut a video doing that, so expect to see that later on. And then eventually, and then right after that, I'm going to put the 1660 Ti into my computer too. And we're gonna, I'm gonna pit everything against each other. I'm gonna see uh, what kind of a comparisons that I can do. Hopefully the drivers and everything will work on my PC. Fingers crossed on this one. And I can get this thing tr mining like it's supposed to. Um, hopefully Windows is the key to this one. Uh, but uh, I got all this bubble wrap around me now. Cause Jared put all this awesome bubble wrap around everything, dude. It's like, oh, oh, I didn't even realize it. Even this one's a, a dual eight pin also. And it's just a two fan thing. You know what? I think I should put both of these bad boys on there. What do you guys think? Huh. Should I just put one of these on there? Or should I put both of them on there, guys? Hmm. Yeah, this is gonna. I need some serious power with these things. Holy sheep. <laughs> go big or go home. <laughs> Alright, let's see what she does. Let's see here. You guys are gonna go for a, a touch of a ride. I hope the fan noise isn't too bad for you guys. Ugh. One of these days I'm going to get more freaking uh, cameras so I don't have to I can just switch over. Have one pointed right at my rig while I do testing like this. Alright. 
so but bam I got the whole rig on there yo <coughs> all right here I hope it's not too uh, loud or anything let's see here all right got my handy dandy tool here and let's go ahead and cut power bam cutting that power let's see what I can do This one, let's go ahead and unplug. Ah, uh, come on. Always take your time unplugging stuff. Yo, Ninja Grassmaster! Yo, what's going on, my man? <laughs> I didn't even see you sleek in there. The ninja snuck in. Yo! Uh, bump, take you off. Take you off. Now I'm going to unplug all of them, this way I can kind of uh, mess with just the Zotax individually. Because I really don't know what they can do mining. I've never played with the Zotac individually and it's always easier just to isolate your rig. Now this is for all the, the greenhorns mining. Uh, when you get new hardware, it's best to have it set up like a test bench. Test benches are always better to work with. I don't know if you guys can hear me too well. Uh, kind of a little bit away from my microphone. Ugh, come on. Bam. All right. So and then I just kind of sit here and unbolt everything that I want to take off. So now I can. Oh yeah, that's right. I remember how I did this one. I'm through. Alright. Now I can sit there and I'll put this one that's safe over here. And now I gotta take this one, so I'm taking card two and one and two, so it's zero and one um, off the rig so that I can put my new cards in. Whew, these things get warm when they've been mining. Hard work in the mine. Yo, Kenzie, yo, my man. Thank you for showing up. Yo, now that's legit. Now it's a party now. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put the two fan into slot two. Tighten this bad boy down. Like that is just one beefy card right there. Now when you're plugging in, uh, now this is for anybody who's new who's never done this before. When you're plugging in a riser, support the top side of the graphics card before you plug it in and push. This way you're not putting any kind of abnormal pressure down on anything. And again, I need more than one power. Uh, so give me this. And this, so. I shall take a U. So I gotta rob two power cables. It's like, Jesus. These things are bohemus. Alright, cool. 
<laughs> pull off the other one to keep them all. <laughs> you know what, Mikkel? Just for you, buddy, I'll do it. So it's just really easy to do it. I'm like right there. There you go, Mikhail. Just for you, buddy. Ugh. Put that into a safe spot so it doesn't get damaged. And... Alright, here we go. Let me put this other big behemoth in. It's like, holy cow, this thing goes. A ginormous card. Holy cow! This thing, you might as well call it a three din. Oh my god! Alright, so bam. And again, supporting this big giant card. It might have enough weight to fight gravity, but I'm still not gonna tweak it. Alright. So, let me plug. Power in. And I gotta steal some power from over here. And bam. Alright. So now I'll be able to power this bad boy up. And before I do that, I'm gonna come into my settings really fast here. And <clears throat> let's see here. Let me change my screens really fast uh, so you can kind of see what I'm doing on my end. Uh, bam, boom. And the rigs view still there. Yo! <clears throat> All right, so you see my rigs offline. So I'm gonna go up into here and um, now because I need to um, figure out the core clock settings on all of this, I could sit here and erase and take all of uh, that off and let's take my power limit off too because I don't know where its power limit is really <laughs> uh, let's see here and let's go ahead and save it now I'm gonna keep the 75% fan on there um, I don't care what what I'm doing I don't care where my what what my fans what what my cards can do I will initially put it there just to air on the safe side that they get enough uh, breathing room and I'll go ahead and save that boom and while it's doing all of that good stuff I'm gonna go ahead and turn the rig on put the power back on and hit that lovely power button oh oh wow dude tingles in the podgies dude oh god you guys got to see what I'm seeing here Oh. Oh. Let me let me get this a little closer, guys. Look how beautiful that card is. Oh. This one's not so so spectacular, but dude, this one? That one's legit. I don't know how well it's picking up on there, my camera-wise, but that thing's color changing and all that good stuff. Wow. <laughs> it's alive. <clears throat> so we want, oh, you're saying ETH pill only? All right. ETH pill only. Yo, it already sees it. Yo! <laughs> But 
but for some reason the fans aren't down. I might have to turn it off and turn it on, otherwise it's still going through its initiation on this. Yeah, that's exactly what I was just saying. The fans aren't spinning. I don't know why. Oh, there we go. Fans are spinning now. I guess there's a delay on these fans. But they are... Um, they are on. All right, let's see here. Change screens over. Okay. So the count, the, this thing is like kind of slowly catching up here. Yes, I have all the 1070s off. Boom. All right. Damn. I'm going to go ahead and pull this console. Remote access into this bad boy. Wow. Almost a hundred mega hash with two cards. <laughs> Holy cow. All right, let's see here what this bad boy is really pulling. Yeah, these things are beasts. Um, yes, card zero is the amp extreme. And it's getting just a little bit more. And it looks like they're cranking out at like 242, 237 watts. So they they take some sizable power. And they're not really bad on temperature. Zero is a little higher than I'd like it to be, but I bet you I could power limit that thing and bring the power down on it. And that thing will live life real nice. <clears throat> uh, yes, I have the ETH pill on actively. Um, let's go ahead and take the ETH pill off and see how this thing actually reacts. I've actually never played with a 1080 before. We're going to play with it now. Yeah. <laughs> So at least we know it does mine. The fans work on these things. So I did not get duds from uh, Jared over at Digital Gold. Legit. <laughs> this is so cool, so cool. It's like I know I'm not the first person to do like uh, 1080 builds and reviews on them, but for me, this is part of my learning process. Um, so I've never played with one, so I'm playing with it on this rig. Um, and then, like I said, I'm going to put it into my main computer. I'm going to cut a video doing uh, uh, like I did with the 1070 Ti that I have in mind. So if you guys haven't watched my last video, um, go ahead and certainly watch it. And it looks like the, uh, the 2 fan does not like what's going on here. So let's go ahead and ramp up the fan speed on this a little bit it looks like the this one you know what I since I don't like this a, that much I'm gonna bring these down to like a 200 watt power limit da, 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 da. let's see how she likes that Let's see here. Bam. Clean up my screen a little bit. <clears throat> oh, 
Ooh, this one does get a little toasty. So I just brought the power limit down on her a little bit. Uh, let me see if I could bring her down a little bit more. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do it like this. Space, we're gonna do 160 on that. We're gonna see if bringing down the temperature limits on this, uh, uh, the power limit on this a little bit more is gonna help. <laughs> Cause I don't like it being that hot. So I want it to cool down a little bit, guys. So I'm pulling the power on her. So she hits up there pretty hard with no overclock on it. <laughs> All right, see how long it takes to do this. Now that I got the power limit a little bit lower, we'll see how the temps like this. So, I've got the ETH enlargement pill off. And it really didn't make too much of a difference, really. That's interesting. Ah, sorry guys, taking a drink of water real quick. Ugh. But, yeah, it doesn't seem like it made a huge difference. It made more of a difference of the power draw on this thing. Um, hmm. So, that's interesting. Now that I got it settled in a little bit. Uh, let's see here. Go ahead and try turning this on now. But it doesn't look like they really did a whole lot with the ETH pill on. I wonder if the ETH pill does more for when you're overclocking versus just turning it on. Yeah, and they hold, yeah, they hold their value because they are like really good horsepower cards for sure. But it doesn't look like uh, the 1660 Ti is gonna play into this ballpark um, unless they figure out how to play with the newer memory st style, uh, the, the GDDR6 memory. Um, so, yeah. All right, so it should have done its new settings on there. So yeah, it doesn't really look like just flicking the switch really does a whole lot to the card. So let's go ahead and start. Oop, I got somebody that's trying to come over again. Damn it, hold on guys. Uh, life of a G, I swear. Uh. Life of a G, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> okay that's a that that's a legit uh, thing uh, Alex you know what for for a good suggestion I, I will give you a gold a gold star for that. I will turn it off and see if it decides to play. <laughs> Actually, when you're when I'm looking at the the, uh, the triple fan Zotac, man, you can see some serious dust on the back side of the fans. <laughs> 
That's hilarious. Alright. So, turn them bad boys back on. Da, 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 da. I have to sit here and wait, guys. So this is with the ETH pill now on. Reset with it on. All right, so she's starting to boot back up. <clears throat> All right, fans are spooling up. All right, the dual fan is now a lot cooler, a lot safer. I like safe. She was getting a little toasty. She was sweating into mine there for a second. Had to turn down the power. Like I keep telling people, the Zotac cards, they have their limitations basically taken off. So if you don't tell it what you want to do, it'll kind of get a little hot on you like that, uh, like GPU one did on me. Da -da 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 -da. All right, wait for this thing to come back out. Okay, so yeah, having the ETH pill really didn't make any real significant change. Um, it looks like uh, these things are pretty well optimized. Now, I don't know if it's because of particularly maybe the miner that I have on, because I am using Phoenix Miner. Um, so maybe Phoenix Miner is the reason that it's like maybe it has the ETH pill embedded into the miner. Um, that could be it. I'm not sure. Maybe it helps it with the overclocking. Not, not quite sure. Uh, but I'm sure with the right overclocking on these bad boys, I bet you I can get these hashing over 50 mega hash a piece. So let's go ahead and start that little process up real, real quick here. So, hmm, I'm sure it should be able to handle a 150 on the core. Let's see what this does. Bam. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so this is pretty much me now starting into some of the overclocking phases on the uh, the 1080s. Never really played with them. Um, my first real attempt at playing with them uh, was for, uh, I believe it was, yeah, uh, if you guys haven't checked it out, uh, the Bitcoin pub, the pub, guy go, go over to the pub and go check it out, uh, the guy in there called Bill Craft, he uh, gave me a little shout out because I, I helped him with uh, his uh, rig of uh, 1080s and stuff like that. Um, he had a mixed rig, so I had to kind of play around with them, um, figure out where they could really sit at and live life quite comfortably. Um, so that's pretty much what I'm going to end up trying to do here. So I'm going to sit there and start leaning on these cards a little bit, see how it works out. <clears throat> I thought you'd like that, uh, Mikkel. Go down to the pub. You go down to the Bitcoin pub and you get good information at the pub. At the pub. <laughs> Bitcoin top pub. Uh, so, now that I got my temperatures uh, living a life a little nicer, um, let's see here. I want to turn the fans down a little bit. I don't need them cranking like that now that I'm not that hot now. Uh, let's see here. I try to keep keep my fans around 75%. Um, 
that's just me. Um, seems to be a nice little sweet spot. Uh, and with the power limits pulled back the way I've got them, um, they should live. They they should live life pretty nicely. I'm just kind of keeping an eye on everything. I mean, seeing that I'm in the low 40s and 50s with it, it should should respond quite nicely to this. Even if it hits 60C, I've got it in my living room, which it's probably like, because of all my other miners, it's probably like 80 degrees in my living room right now, so it's a little toasty in here. <laughs> Especially since I don't have all my fans on circulating fresh air so that everybody doesn't complain that I got fan noise. <laughs> <clears throat> all right. So... Yeah, this now the now the cards are living life a little little nicer. Um, so, and I got the hash rate of the one card to come up, so that's kind of a nice improvement. Now I'm not afraid to see these cards, you know, crash out or something like that. Uh, so, or cut out on me if I got to reboot one, whatever. Uh, but. Let's do a space. Uh, let's say 150 on you. And the first one, we'll do a 175 on the core. See how she likes this. Smack this card around a little bit. Show it who's Bosch. Yeah, that's what I'm. Uh, that's what I'm gonna try to go for. That's 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 my goal. Is try to get it up to like 55. We're gonna find out. Uh. I can't wait to see where this one's gonna start really hashing at. <laughs> So, all right, let's see how this likes it. Bam. And let's see if this is still running or did it freeze on me. Cause, oh yeah, I had to turn that off. So, let's leave. Oh, turn that off. Yeah, if you guys ever, if you guys have Twitter or whatever, um, I actually have a little Twitter account too. Um, it's uh, Crypto and Hot Rods, or um, you can put at Nemesis in the number two. And that'll pull me up. <clears throat> All right, here. Let's pull up the shell again. Let's see what the miners, you know, I want to see it like when it changes. Let's see here. Now that was with a 175 on that. Let's see what, if it'll handle a 200 core on that first one. So I know some cards can handle a 200 core. Oh, Mikkel, yo, legit, dude. You get a gold star for that one. Thank you for dropping that link. <laughs> Oh, oh, and he, he dropped that Bitcoin top bub. <clears throat> All right, let's see here. <laughs> All right. So I got the one card with uh, a 200 core on it. Let's see here. And this just kind of gives you just kind of real time view of what's going on real fast. So that's kind of why I use this. So cool. We're not crashing out at all. Awesome, awesome. I'll go ahead and close this stuff out too. That's where my bar is a little cleaner. All right, 
here. <clears throat> hmm. Wow. So the triple fan seems to not mind it with a 200 core. Let's try the other one. Let's see where I can put this core at. Let's try it at 75. 175 on the core. Since it's a dual fan, um, whenever I was uh, playing with the other, uh, helping out one of the other pub members with his uh, 1080 rig, he had a mixed mixed batch. So he had one, cards that would handle a 150 core. He had a few cards that can handle up to the 200 core. Um, some of them couldn't go past 175 on the core. So I'm just kind of playing around with it and seeing where where it'll. Oh. Yep, and there we go. This one, uh, G uh, GPU one, cannot handle a 175 core. So this one will stay at a 150 core. This is how you learn, guys. So don't just crack on these cards right off the bat. Do them in small increments. down all the way some rigs um, will kind of do like a little like a power down mode so you got to wait for everything to kind of do its do its thing before you power it back on man I'm kind of excited to get this Zotac into my into my PC and see how she games it's gonna be a beast So, let's get all that stuff off my screen. Clean it up over here. <clears throat> all right. Now it's starting to boot back up. Da, da, da. Come on. <laughs> the anticipation, it kills me. Every day. Oh, where'd that come from? Oop. Why is it doing that now? Hmm. Looks like the miner itself is rebooting for some reason. It must have not liked it. Hmm. I've never seen that before. Hmm. Maybe it's just from how it crashed out. Oop, looks like it's starting to boot back up. I got some fan action going. Uh-oh. I got an error. I do not know why it's doing that. Mine, 125. Yeah, we'll see here.
let's see how it does this. <laughs> Pissed, I didn't like that overclock, yeah. <laughs> What's going on, Wild Code Fox? here. Come on, fire it up. Alright. Noise, noise. Wonder if it's gonna air out on me again. <laughs> Come on. I'm gonna refresh this real fast. Horses in here, come on. Always takes a second for it to kind of refresh itself on the mining rig interface here. <sighs> Definitely not doing anything. Nope. Oh. It definitely does not like this overclock for some reason, all of a sudden. Let's back it off here and make sure. Let's see here, come on. Looks like we got the fans on now. So maybe it didn't, maybe the Zotac. Hey Alex, you might be right, I can't put the 200 onto it. Maybe it was too much for it. It would handle it for like maybe a second or two and then it was like, nope, I quit. <laughs> properly now so the, the, the amp extreme didn't like the that high of an overclock on the, the core okay I'm gonna go back to let's see what the uh, let's try 75 175 it should be able to handle that no problem because Alex you've got yours at 175 I should be able to do it too Yeah, probably Wild Code Fox. Exactly, exactly. It might have it might have handled it while it was running, but once I had to boot it, 
it just freaked out with that kind of overclock. It was like, no, I can't do it. So some cards can actually handle the, the 200 uh, on the core. Uh, looks like mine can't. No biggie. Now time to play with the memory. Let's see if I can crash the rig out. <laughs> Let's see here. I'm gonna start both of these bad boys at 900 each on the memory. Put a nice something conservative and then start ramping one up at a time. Boom. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like a rigged election that you'll never win. <laughs> And for, see that you got, got eight people watching. Uh, if any of you haven't done so, guys, smash that Lizzie like button for me, guys. That kind of helps me out. Yo. <clears throat> Hit the bell notification, the subscribe if you haven't done so. You know, all that good stuff. Holy cow, I just jumped to 102.4 mega hash total between two cards that is legit wow holy cow and i'm still feel like i'm conservative holy cow All right here let's see here and and I'm uh, I'm pulling under 200 watts a piece on these cards oh that is that is so sexual oh so let's I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna I'm gonna drop it a thousand let's see how she how she rocks and rolls on this Ooh. come on good things no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. <laughs> oh. 175, got a thousand on the memory so far. Woo! Okay, didn't really do a whole lot. I think, yep, that's shut down. But bam. I want to get a little bit more live data here. Let me fire this bad boy back up here. Oh, Ooh, excuse me. Hell yeah, Amp Extreme! <laughs> Just kind of holding out up at 51. Let's see if I can go up any higher with her. Let's do 1050 on uh, on that mem. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm I'm limiting it for a second here.
Let's see here. You say I'm power limiting her, so let's say... Two hundred and fifteen watts on that one. We'll see how she reacts with that. <clears throat> so the trick is is not to like peg it with all the power it can handle, because uh, sometimes. When you peg it with all the power it can handle, your um, your the the amount of hash rate that you gain is nominal, um, and then you start generating heat, which starts to thermal throttle the the cards themselves. So it's a, it's a definite trade-off. So you don't want to hammer it too hard, I would say. <laughs> and hey, hey, Rianne. <laughs> I see you sneaking up into there. All right, here. So... Even with it taking 206 watts now, um, its power bump was really nominal. So for me, it's not really worth, what? Uh, yeah, it's like, I think that I would get a little, let me, I'm gonna tweak this one a little bit. Let me see here what the actual difference was. 5355 so <clears throat> so I'm not getting huge bumps with uh, the power being up there. It looks like it did more good with the memory being up than the power. Because now the, the power draw is down low and I'm still in the 5356. So it actually liked the memory bump on it a little bit better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've uh, I, I've just heard a lot of people talking about the Zotax and how they how they're kind of just a really great card to mine with a good card to game with. Um, so I definitely was amped about oh getting my hands on one. <laughs> So yeah, it looks like it did more good with doing a memory bump on this one of just 50 uh, mega hash. So I'm gonna try this one at the 1100 and see if it crashes the rig finally. I don't mind seeing a rig crash out. <laughs> Da, 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 da. All right. Oh, it doesn't look like it's crashing. That's that's cool. And let's see what she's doing now.
Okay, so it looks like it just negatively affected the card to go to 1100. So it dropped it from the 53 mega hash down to 51 mega hash just by changing it 50 mega hash. So it looks like it likes the 1050 on the memory on this particular card. It's hungry. <laughs> All right, so we've applied that setting. Let me get a drink of water here. <laughs> there we go back up to 53.848 so a 50 uh, a 50 point difference on that core on the memory made a huge difference so bam this card i would say is pretty much dialed in i can get it I can get it uh, uh, to, to start hitting harder if I wanted to, but it would be at the cost of burning a lot more energy. So I don't want to sit there and push this card to its upper end limit, burning unnecessary energy for what little hash rate it's going to gain me. So now let's work on this other card. Uh, so now remember, I got this other card at the lower end of the card spectrum. I think. These things can operate at 155 watts on its low end, um, but you know you're gonna watch your hash rate drop off. So uh, what I'm going to do right off the bat is we're gonna drop this to 70, uh, 175 watts on this. Since it's a two fan, it doesn't have as good of cooling on it, of course. Um, I do have. As you can see, I've got uh, fans that are blowing right in front of it, uh, but they can only do so much, realistically. Uh, so bam, just jumping it to 175 watts on there, uh, brought up the hash rate up to, uh, to the 50 mega hash on Ethereum Classic. So, yo, that is a legit. Let's see what she does at 1,000 on the mem. Bam. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey Ninja, if you ever are looking to purchase some 1070s, we might be, me and Mikkel might be able to help direct you to where there's a small little stash of them that might be for sale. So, whoa. So that's quite interesting. I ramped up the memory on the uh, the regular two fan Zotac, and the hash rate didn't. Oh, it dropped for a moment. Okay, I just had to wait for it. All right, didn't really do much. <laughs> a good price for a 1080 uh, TI if you're getting them used um, any a, a spectacular price would be like 380 for a TI that would be like a spectacular price um, these ones I spent uh, 450 on them uh, each 
So to me, that was still a reasonable uh, price considering that I had purchased some of my 1070s at that same price point. So um, I could definitely, you know, it sucks that now I can buy the 1080s at the same price, but whatever, it is what it is. <clears throat> All right, so this one's getting a nominal bump on uh, the hash rate on that. Let's see if it will handle. Let's just go for glory on it. I'm going to go for 1100. Let's see if it negatively affects everything. Da, da, da. It's going to start mining and it's going to be like, nope. <laughs> uh oh, it didn't like that. Ash rate just dropped. Let's see if it stays there. Just give it a few seconds more. <laughs> All right, come on. Um, a 1070 Ti on ETH will do about 31.5, uh, mega hash on Ethereum. So this card is almost half, uh, almost doubles what it is. I mean, it's like, so you're talking like it's got a two third of a bump on, on hash rate over to 1070 Ti, which that's pretty good. All right. So with 1100 on the memory, holy cow, it just jumped to 5280. Nice. I wonder if the other card, I just needed to wait for it and I just kind of got a little jumpy on it because I saw the hash rate drop. Hmm. Hmm. Should I add more core onto this one? You know what? I'm gonna see if it'll take more core and let it hash for a second. Let's make these both even battlegrounds here. And... Temps aren't too bad on there. They're a lot hotter than what uh, my 1070s. These things definitely run a little warmer. But... According to their sensors, their temperatures are perfect. So I'm happy. Ooh, burpage. All right, let's let this thing go for another 30 second rip and see if the hash rate on the first card stays low with the 1100. Otherwise, GPU one, will allow a bigger, uh, more overclock on the memory for some reason. <laughs> you caught that one, huh, Ninja? You like that? <laughs> Let's see here. Okay, so definitely uh, GPU zero does not like the 1100 on there. So this one is, oop. It's going to live at 
at 1050. All right. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna drop that back down to the 1050 on that one. All right, legit. Because trying to put that extra overclock on the, the extreme, it was like, nope. <laughs> Let's see here. There we go, found a few extra more hash just by dropping the memory down. So basically whenever you're playing with the memory clocks like that, you're if you push it too far, it uh, desyncs the timing on the memory. And that's basically what you started watching is the degradation of the timing on it. Uh, so, this one happens to like the 1100. I bet you I won't be able to push it any further. Uh, but I can also, let's see what the temperature and what it looks like at 200 watts on this bad boy. Now remember, this is only a two fan on this one, so I'm gonna keep an eye on this one considering that it's already at 60 degrees Celsius, uh, which that puts it like right around 140 degrees Fahrenheit. See here. <clears throat> now that it's all applied, I'll take that off of there. And we'll go through and, um, and check it out on a few other algorithms uh, before I definitely wrap, uh, wrap everything up. So I got a few other algorithms in store. So this is Ethereum. I have Ethereum, uh, I mean, this is Ethereum Classic, and I also have Ethereum loaded up. Um, I have Grin, I have a few others uh, loaded up. Uh, we'll see how these uh, cards actually hash away on other algorithms. Yo! <clears throat> All right, yo. So, bam, 5308. So it's like right around the 53 mark. So bam, I've got both of these hitting at 53 and a half and 53. Ooh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yo, and they're doing under 200 watts a piece on them. That's pretty decent. Even with turning up the, the power a little bit on the, uh, the dual fan, the temperature didn't really raise significantly. So I could live with this. This kind of hash rate with the rest of the rig, this is a good addition. I love it. And this triple fan is definitely going to be going into my main, main PC. Because, um, yeah, I like good stuff too. <laughs> Um, and I'll be I'll be definitely be able to uh, mine it on my own PC whenever I'm not utilizing it, of, of course. Uh, so let's check out other things. So let's check it out on Ethereum. Boom. Worker update. <laughs> All right. And I'll take it a second. Yep. Oh yeah, leave that page. All right, so it's now swapping over the miner on there. Takes a few seconds to, to see all this.
All right, now it's coming back online. <clears throat> Go ahead and I'll refresh this a little bit. <clears throat> so it looks like even uh, um, on the, the new fork of Ethereum, because as we all know, Ethereum forked, um, they have had their forking, which means that it went down from a three uncle reward down to a two uncle reward which means that whenever you find your uncles in your blocks, you don't get that much. Now, if you find a regular block, you only get one, uh, one Ethereum. So you're hoping that you always find the uncle reward because the uncle reward was the big, was the big reward and that was giving out three. So now the uncle reward is only gonna give out two. So, uh, we'll see how secure their network is once these bigger mining facilities are struggling with paying their electric bills. But definitely doesn't look like anything is uh, significant has changed with uh, um, the hash rate on with uh, Ethereum to Ethereum Classic, even with the new fork. So it's all running the same. No difference. So moving on. Oop, not the overclock. So let's check out, uh, considering that I've got it all set up right now for um, S hash uh, for the, uh, the mining card itself, I'm going to uh, put it onto Prague Pow, which is going to be uh, on BCI, uh, Bitcoin interest, which is how Ethereum is going to be moving eventually is going to be on ProgPile, uh, which as you're about to see, it's going to really kind of tank the hash rate. All right. <clears throat> All right, here. Always got to wait for this thing to reboot. <clears throat> it's doing its thing. Oop, I wonder if I got to reboot it. <laughs> I think it crashed on me when I did this. Oop, hold on, guys. And let it go through its power down phase. It might have not liked that I got the uh, the one uh, 1080 at the 1100. If it starts giving me an issue, I'm gonna uh, bring that one down just a little bit. All right, <clears throat> add the booting back up now. Da -da -da -da. takes forever for this thing to boot back up. Might be too much overclock on here too, don't know. Oh, looks like she crashed. 
Hmm. So, I'm gonna make sure that it's still trying to basically mine. Maybe I, I'm hoping that I don't have, if it's an overclocking issue, I'll find out real fast here. Let's get the thing back communicating here. And then I will try this again. We shall see y'all. Life of a miner, I swear. <laughs> so, so, anybody got any questions for me so far? So she's back up to hashing again. Awesome, awesome. Now let's see if I can just get her to connect now. No, I didn't want to work for whatever reason. I'm going to try reconnecting on it right now. interesting let's give it a minute here all right now it's coming back out all right maybe it was just acting wonky for a second had to smack it Sometimes the mining rigs don't like to cooperate. Try this. Okay, so it looks like it is doing something. But my one set of fans are not turning on. There we go, now the other set of fans are turning on. All right, it just took a second for it. Wow. Okay, so all the fans are turning now. That was weird. Looks like it's doing something. Oh, pop the back. But it's not submitting anything quite yet.
Okay, so my fans just stopped. Yeah, so for whatever reason, it's not working. On Bitcoin interest, so... And that's the only mining program for it. Huh. That's interesting. So... I wonder if it's like, if it's an overclocking issue. Illegal memory access, hold on here. Okay, I'll turn off the pill. Okay, so the fans just spooled up. No, it did the fans just spooled back up. Let's see here. Sometimes the power supplies don't like me turning on and off the rigs a whole bunch of times. There you go. Yeah, if you ever have an issue, like you turn off your rig and you try to restart it and it doesn't want to boot back up, unplug the power supply real quick and let it like hard reboot the power supply. It helps. for the fans to turn back on. All right, starting to boot back up. I've got the pill off. Turn back on here. Da, da, da. Huh. OK. 
Okay, you got one of the fans turning back on. There we go, fans are on. Aha, I got it working. For a second it looked like. Hmm. Cuda error. Huh. I wonder if it's just that it doesn't like the, the overclock on it. So. Let's put them both at one fitty. Let's see if it likes this. Do, 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 do. I wonder if I'm gonna have to reset the rig, restart the rig. Yep, I'm gonna restart the rig here. Oh, oh, the fan just turned on for one. Okay, that's a good sign. You gonna boot back up all the way now? Come on. starting up on this. I'm just kind of giving it a second to try to do its own thing. So now we got some fans on this. doesn't like this algorithm. So, all right, here. I'm gonna try to restart it. Then after this, I'm gonna start bringing down the memory on it. Maybe it's too much memory for it. Uh, for this algorithm. Hmm. 
Man, it really does not like an overclock on this algorithm. Oh yeah, it does not like the overclock. So what I'm gonna do here is We're gonna try 900 on this. See if it'll play nice. I know, right, Mikel? It's weird that it's not wanting to boot up on... Okay. So I got fans for both turning on. Oh, it looks like I got it. So it didn't like the idea that I had uh, uh, as much of an overclock as I did on there. Yeah, I thought, no, Prog Pow is like, like, I, it like, in essence, it d nerfs your, your carts on Prog Pow. Wow, there we go on that. And I wonder if I could turn the, the pill on. Let's try. Let's see if the pill does anything. Feed it the pill. All right, here. Yeah. Hopefully this doesn't crash the rig out. Fans are still turning, so turning the pill on did not hurt it. And putting the pill on really didn't do nothing, it looks like. I'm gonna let it go for a little bit longer. Um, let's see here, where's my pin? So, on Ethereum Classic, it got 53 mega hash. Now I'm kind of just writing everything down so I've got all these numbers too. Um, and Bitcoin interest. Is that, that? 22. So that's not too bad. All right. Let's clean that up right there. And let's try another algorithm here. Now that I got these cards mining away. All right, so actually, let me see what the limit is on this. So, base 900. 
we'll do nine fifty. Do a 950 on that. Ugh. All right, here. So it doesn't look like it did that much of a bump to it. Let's see if a thousand crashes it. Oh, a thousand crashed it instantaneously. Womp, 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 womp. <laughs> It was like, nope, nope, nope. So it looks like 900 on the mem for this thing is where this is going to live life. Now I gotta wait for this thing to boot back up. So it looks like this is pretty much optimized for Bitcoin interest. this thing reboot now uh. all right come on boot back up The only thing that sucks about this is like when you crash your rig out, you gotta like wait for it to reboot. Should be coming back here in a second. There we go. The other card's spinning back up. It should be hashing here in a second. It's so one thing that's nice about a rig, man. If you, even if you crash it out, don't worry. Just set it back to where you had it and let it restart. Yep, now it's gonna act all weird on me, isn't it? <laughs> of course. Now it's gonna act all weird. See if it wants to play nice now. <laughs> All right. But thank you everybody for sticking around this long, watching me go through my little testing phases. You guys are awesome. Y'all get a gold star. <laughs> it's like me doing this and going live gives me somebody that gives me people to talk to while I'm while I'm doing this. Just otherwise I'd be home alone, twiddling my thumbs. Ha 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 ha.
Hell yeah, Ninja. You get a gold star, too. <laughs> and you, Alex. <laughs> All right. She should be doing something here in a second. Both the fans are on. Just waiting for the desktop to catch up and bam, back to hashing. So yeah, this is pretty much where it's gonna be sitting at. So 22 and a half-ish um, on the cards. Not bad, not bad at all. Flight sheet on this one and yo, Uh, let's see here. Where is it? And I'm gonna do this one for my man Ninja Grassmaster, good friend of mine, great guy. Do you want to see this on some Raven coin? Yo! <laughs> because I know my man Ninja loves him some of that raven coin and i know nvidia rigs are pretty damn good on them so let's go ahead and hit the rocket button here to the moon Boom. now i have no idea if it's gonna wh what it's gonna do I have no idea what the set these things at. But it might have, not sure if it just crashed my rig out, but we'll see here in a second. I'm going to open something up real quick here. Uh, I've got like a couple of notes written down. Where do they go? And... Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, on something like this, let's see if it just, it's trying to reboot here. I'm going to give it one more second here, and then I'm going to change the values on this. Yeah, which I think I'm going to do right now. All right, here. We're gonna put you down to... Let's try it at 100 on the memory. Oop, and I can turn that off too. Shit. Oop, let it do its thing first real fast. Don't need to give it a heart attack. I don't think I need the beef pill on, but it looks like it's coming back on now. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and do a that real quick.
Yeah, 60, 60 degrees on a on, on it. Uh, 60 C is fine. Alright, I might have to reboot the rig. Oh. Okay, so it looks like it's trying to come back on. Fans are spooling. Aha! Yep, it's sitting there crashing out right now. It might have too much core on it too, so. If it's got too much core on it, it'll it'll crash out like this too, so I'm not really worried about it. We're just doing this for testing poipuses. For testing poipuses. All about the poipuses. So all right, let's see this thing come back on with these 1080s. Come on. All right. All right, now I'm starting to see everything boot back up. Waiting for the fans to kick back on. Considering this is uh, Ravencoin, it's like more core dependent than anything else. I will be, doesn't want to boot back up here. Give it a second here. All right, fans one came back on. Come on. Turn the core down just a little bit more on here. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna put this to 100 on the core, 100 on the memory, 200 on the power limit. Let's see how this works. Got fan action here. Ooh. I think I might have found something that might have worked here, hopefully. Let's see here. Did you like that? So far the fans are staying on. We're starting to get warmth. Oh, yo, we are mining some of that Raven coin. <laughs> yo, so guys, eat your hearts out. We got 30 mega hash on some of that Raven. <laughs> Holy cow. This hits just like a Tidium classic on hash rate almost. <laughs> I thought you would like that, Ninja. Yo. That one's just for you. <laughs> 
So yeah, this is actually hitting pretty damn good. Where you're at, basically, it's bouncing in uh, the 30 mega hash range. I know this is basically turned off. All right, get the shell in the box to turn on here. Let's say I can see what the what the live data is. Da -da -da -da. And bam. Oh yeah. That's real nice. That's real nice. Mm-hmm. That is really good hash rate right there, I have to say. Oh, look at that. We're starting to settle in, we got 31. Damn! No. I know I can do this. We're gonna go up. to 125 on the core. Let's see where I can max this bad boy out at. La la la. Whoa, 34 and a half mega hash now. Damn! That's what I'm talking about. That's how you can sit there and take a look at what that card can really do. Wow! And I'm letting it have 200 watts and it's under 100 and, uh, 190 watts, so it's actually efficient. Alright, let's see what this dual fan will do. Let's see here. Okay, so it doesn't look like it got a whole spectacular bump from it. It put it more into the 30 mega hash range, so it's at 30 and a half mega hash now, it looks like. Temp on it's not bad. <clears throat> so, wow, that's actually not too bad. Wonder if it's crashing out now. Nope. All right, cool. So yeah, she's settling in really nicely. Put an extra on the decor of my two fan one. Didn't really do anything spectacular. Um, it helped more on the first card, so that put a pretty significant bump onto it. Not bad. Yo, that's pretty damn good. Uh, let's see here. Oop, nope, I wanted flight sheets. So, let's check out uh, some of that uh, Grin. Now, the, the Grin Miner is going to act really close to how uh, Raven should, I, th I think. Uh, but let's find out.
Let's see here. Waiting for everything to boot back up now. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that'll be gone, I believe. All right, cool, cool, awesome. Whoa, 7.4 graphs on the one and seven on the other. Wow. My 1070s TIs don't even get that. Holy cow. And it looks like the core clock on them doesn't make a difference on the two card one. So that's actually at its upper limit then. Wow. That is insane. Is there any other algorithm or coin that you guys would like to see mined? I know there's like a few second delay on here. <clears throat> Any of you guys want to see anything else mined? <laughs> right? Yeah, try some of that. For sure. <laughs> Not like that, guys. Mining XRP. Not like that. Nope. 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 Not gonna happen. Yo! That's almost like trying to mine some of that. <laughs> so anybody else got anything that you would uh <laughs> hashtag shame <laughs> oh that's too funny <laughs> So, anybody got anything else that you might want to have, see um, get mined on there? I mean, I don't have everything like programmed into my uh, desktop, so. Give it a few seconds. Or if anybody's got any questions for me, or if they'd like me to try any overclock settings. anything whatsoever guys and for everybody that's here definitely definitely smash that like button dude that just helps me out and share these videos of mine with everybody and if you're uh, new and everything here definitely check out I have mining series where I show people how, what each individual piece of the mining rigs are and this all applies to even building a regular PC guys Um, overclock analysis. Okay, okay. Uh, let me pull up uh, just so I know what I'm doing here. So, bam. <clears throat> so basically, with the uh, uh, overclocking, um, I'm not sure exactly if uh, how. How you are if you're talking about how I go about overclocking um, first off I I do research to see where the upper power limit is and whenever I factor in what its max wattage is I dial it back a minimum of between 80 uh, to 70 percent um, pullback on power um, that's usually a really good spot to start off with, um, even if there's no information out there. Uh, or if you're really in doubt, don't put any value in, just keep an eye on your rig's temperatures. 
and see where it pegs out when you start mining with it and you'll be able to see where it's max wattage that it wants to consume and then you can kind of factor bringing it back down to the 75 percent range um for the the 1070 uh the, the 1080s they're wanting um i think max power on those they'll take something like uh oh, just under like uh, 275 watts so right around that 200 watt range will be perfect on these cards um <clears throat> oh so how do i go about it um yeah so i mean this is this is pretty much how i do go about it um where uh, let me just put this like this um where Whenever I'm sitting there, and I'll get some information um, on a you know on a particular card. I'll see where its overclock is, and I'll start pushing the core up a little bit until I see the rig basically crash out or start submitting bad shares. Uh, once I see that point, I start backing it off until the rig either stabilizes. As you saw me here, it kept that it wouldn't boot wouldn't boot so I started backing off the the overclockings and all of a sudden it starts to boot um, so these are some of the procedures that I go through uh, just to make sure whenever I'm uh, booting up new hardware for the first time I start ramping them up real slowly so for the core clock I know a good baseline core clock is always 100 on the core so I'll sit there start off on 100 on the core and ramp it up 25, uh, uh, add 25 to it each time until the rig crashes. When the rig crashes, back it off 25 and see if it will hold there. If it doesn't want to hold there, then you're uh, looking at backing it off just a, another 25 and usually you're, it'll stabilize right out there. Um, so for like my 1070s, the, the limits are between 100 to 150. I have none of my G, none of my 1070s. Can I put them to the the 150 mark on the core? It's just you know just how it is. Um, does it make them um, mine any less? No, not at all. Um, but I would sit there and ramp up the memory, do the same thing until until it, with the memory it's a little different. Um, you might not always crash the rig out with the memory. You will with the core. You put a lot of core on there, it should crash the rig out. So as long as you're not adding a lot of core to it, the memory, what you do is you'll watch the, the hash rate start coming up um, if it's doing anything. If it's not, you'll ramp it up and it'll do absolutely nothing. And you're like, okay, that was pointless and you'll just leave it alone. But if you sit there and you start watching the hash rate come up as you ramp the, the core clock up on there, and I usually ramp them up between 100 to 50 at a time. Um, and I'll watch it start hashing and get it to its high point and then you'll ramp it up a little bit further and you'll watch the hash rate just dive down real bad and you're like oh it did not like that and again the memory is all about timing so when you're uh, when you start ramping up your core clock you're actually affecting the the speed on that memory so if you you can ramp them up in increments so you can have your uh, core up and then you ramp up your memory to match your core um, this is where you need to be liquid cooled if you really want to start pushing them further or you got to do nitrogen cooling which it's for mining it's just not worth it um, just to see that extra couple of hash rates because you can push these cards even further um, on the core which will allow you to bring the memory up to that next level but it's not worth it you're you're going to be spending more money on cooling solutions than you are uh, actually mining coin so just push these things until the until you watch the memory just kind of negatively affect the hash rate and then just back it back down to where you had it and it'll live life very happily right there um, the worst that I've ever had to do is back off like one, the memory, maybe 50 um, off the memory if it like didn't like it after 12 hours. Because you're going to be looking at it for the 10 minute, the 1 hour, 12 hour, and 1 day. So if, it, if your rig 
holds the holds steady for a full day you're pretty much you can just uh, uh, forget about it check up on it every once in a blue moon uh, deep dust it every so often you know all that good stuff um, I hope that uh, uh, answered your questions pretty well uh, ninja and of course you can always come check me out if you have any issues with your overclock settings I'll I'll help uh, step you, you know, walk you step by step through it. It's really not that hard. Um, it's, you know, if there's a little tricks to it, but really not hard at all. For sure, Ninja. No problem for you. No problem. <laughs> Anybody else got any other questions uh, before I sign off here? I know there's like a few second delay. I hope this was very informative to all you guys. I mean, I have fun doing this stuff. It, it, it's a blast for me, at least. I, I absolutely love doing this. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed um, following through uh, the, the, the my mindset whenever I'm playing with new stuff, um, how I'm I get it to start working out. Um, I hope you find it very informative. If you guys do, uh, definitely smash that like button for great information, guys. Yo! I mean, I got this thing to mine on a whole bunch of different algorithms. It is a beast. It makes my 1070s look like garbage on, uh, on Ethereum Classic compared to those. Hey, Big Rome, yo, you made it to the show, but we're like right towards the end, my man. You'll, you're going to have to like rewatch everything, dude. I, I, I dropped out some great knowledge. And since you're here, dude, dude, smash that like button. Yo! <laughs> All right, here, so. <clears throat> so you got any, anybody have any questions before I sign off here? You big, you too, Big Rome, got any questions for a mine or anything in the back of your head that you'd like to know? Doesn't look like anybody's got any real questions for me. So it looks like I'm gonna uh, sign off here, guys. Um, start preparing my computer to uh, start swapping out graphics cards and stuff like that and shooting some other videos with some new graphics card hardware. Uh, what am I mining now? Well, um, on, the, on my 1080s right here, um, I've got it on uh, Grin. So it's grinning. Um, but the rest of my rigs, uh, which, let's see here if my camera will play nice with me. But the rest of the rigs over there, they are all on Ethereum Classic. Bam. So, I, you know, let me put that on the big screen here. Yeah, now oh, this will this will work a little better. So all of those are all on Ethereum Classic. Bam. And then uh, the rest of them um, are. Uh, this one's on Grin right now. So um, if you guys got don't have any other questions. Um, all right, uh, Big Rum. Yeah, definitely hit me up on that Discord. Yo, for sure. <laughs> and um, guys, it, this is for the people that are here and people who are watching in the future. 
Uh, definitely smash that like button. I hit the wrong one. Definitely smash that like button, guys. Uh, hit the subscribe bell notification. Share these videos with everybody, of course. And like always, I will see you all on the next one. Yo!